Megumi Lim. Megumi, what has Ukraine said about its cross-border raid into Russia? Well, as you mentioned earlier, this Kursk incursion and the fighting there has gone on for four days now, but Ukraine has maintained a policy of silence regarding this incursion. We have not heard any official comments from the Ukrainian side, but President Zelensky in his nightly video address yesterday seemed to have made a possible uh, reference to this uh, fighting in the Kursk region. He said Russia brought war to our land and it should feel what it has done, implying that uh, Russia is now getting a taste of its own medicine, but he didn't directly mention Kursk in his video address. Now, on the other hand, a Ukrainian state project called Honshu Hochenaiti, which is a state project that offers and provides information about Russian prisoners of war to Russian families, did make a comment saying that many Russian soldiers were captured as a result of this Kursk incursion. And this may be the closest thing to an official acknowledgement of what's been taking place in the Kursk region. Now, the precise objective of this incursion remains unclear. It does look like it was designed to bring the war home to Russia, where a majority of uh, Russians have not felt the direct impact of the ongoing conflict, where uh, millions of Ukrainians, on the other hand, have uh, been displaced as a result of the ongoing war, and hundreds of villages and settlements have also been destroyed. Now, this incursion also appears to be some sort of diversion where Ukrainian troops were hoping to divert Russian resources and troops away from the eastern front lines, especially in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, where Russian forces have been making steady gains, especially over the past few weeks. They are getting closer and closer to very strategically important cities in the east. Now, whether or not this strategy will be effective or has been effective and is unclear. Analysts have said because Ukrainian troops remain severely outnumbered on the battlefield, to divert precious Ukrainian manpower to a different part of the front line, essentially opening up a new war front, may not be the most effective. But analysts have suggested that by mounting this assault into the Kursk region, Kiev may be trying to gain some sort of leverage just in case future negotiations do take place with the Kremlin. And in terms of attacks in Ukraine, a Russian attack has hit a supermarket in the Donetsk region. What can you tell us about that? That's right, a devastating attack against the city of Kostyantinivka today in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region. According to regional authorities, a Russian KH-38 uh, air-to-surface missile uh, struck a supermarket killing about a dozen people. A postal depot they, there owned by Ukraine's largest private courier company was also severely damaged. And the death toll has been going up since the attack took place earlier today. Right now, the death toll is at at least 11 people killed and at least 37 people injured. But there is still rescue operations going on. Uh, people may still be stuck trapped under the rubble and so the number of casualties may rise as rescue work uh, continue. Now President Zelensky did condemn today's attack. Uh, he said um, Russia will be held responsible for this terror. Now cities like Kostyantinivka has been coming under regular air attacks because of its proximity to the front lines. Kostyantinivka is located only 13 kilometers where active combat is taking place and as Russian forces continue to advance in the east we're expecting more and more of these attacks to take place in the future. Megumi Lin reporting for us live from Kiev. Many thanks.